Hi everyone, it's Lourdes. Hi, this is Tara. Today, Tara and I are here to talk about the energy of the moon. Like the sun video that I've done, I've done a moon video, but Tara can That's go That's her bit. favorite, so I'm sure the moon video is awesome. <laughs> it is my favorite. She likes that intuitive thing. <laughs> I, I do know the intuitive thing, and selenite. It's hard, it's, hard, it's hard to find somebody who doesn't love the energy of the moon. You know, the sun, the sun always feels kind of like pushy and aggressive. While the, sun's, uh, while the moon is just like so, so subtle and like, and, and that's really the energy that it has. It's kind of like, it's our inner self. It's our instinct. It's our emotion. It's our, our, our intuition. It's all that kind of stuff. It's everything's going on inside of us. And that just that stuff just seems so much nicer, <laughs> you know. See, and, and I I look at it differently now. For those of you who are not familiar with the videos Tara and I did for healing crystals, Tara and I usually have opposite views we on do. many things. We and do. so for me, I find the moon more powerful. I'm like, not saying that it's not. It, oh, but, I, I never said that the moon was I don't, I don't powerful. I said it wasn't so. pushy. See, and I don't consider it sweet, though. I consider. I don't either, but I'm saying the perception. Oh, the perception. Yeah, because That's why I'm like. Talk, I was talking about like like people like the perception that that we have about the mm -hmm. moon. You know, even if you look at art, right, or 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 any kind of representations about the moon. You know, people. It's it, it's mm -hmm. it's just it's it's feminine energy. And, and it, it sometimes, you know, it, it comes off as being more gentle and more, you know, nurturing and stuff. I, it isn't. No. <laughs> I was going to say, no, oh, no, I don't think so. No. no. That, I mean, seriously, why, why do you think at the full moon there's more police activity? There's more because it's, More births in the hospitals yes, it's, usually? It's, you know, the moon is... is I, honestly, I, I, I believe, like you do, that the moon has more effect on us than the sun does. It does. I, energetically speaking, we're yes, talking Yes, energetically, about. yes. I, for me... Not, necessarily, not even just energetically. I mean, just look at the planet, the effect that the moon has on our planet, the, the oceans and the, you know, everything. Us. It just, yeah. I mean, the, the moon is... And, and the thing about the moon is that it's our moon. Yes. You know, the... the, the, the the planets and other things they don't they don't always seem quite as 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 personal a way as mm -hmm. our moon does. Like the other planets have their own moons. Yeah. This is out. This is Earth's moon. Mm hmm So now for me, the moon comes across as you know has several different aspects to it. Uh, intuition is probably the one most people are familiar mm -hmm. with. Uh, what other ones would you say or that you feel are associated with it? Um. If, if we're looking at it from, from a healing aspect, mm -hmm. I think that um, uh, it, it's about your inner self. It's about emotions. Um, I think that when the moon, when, when you're looking to heal how you feel about something mm -hmm. or um, uh, your past, um, the moon is, is definitely the energy that, that you want to work with. Um, and that's why it is so powerful because... The sun is kind of the present, while the moon is more how you got to the present. Okay? And that's something, let's face it, we all know you can't change the past. Mm -hmm. What's done is done. It cannot be changed. But what can always be changed is how it affects you, mm -hmm. how you deal with it, how you feel with it, and, and, or how you feel about it. And that's, that's where the moon's energy comes in. And that's why in, in so many respects it is such a healing energy that, mm -hmm. that people just, you know, don't really recognize all of the, the, the possibilities of working with moon energy and how, how healing and empowering it can be. And can it also be cleansing? Mm -hmm. Well, me? absolutely. Well, that's part of healing is yes. that you've got to, you have to flush out anything that, that's negative within you, and that's what the moon's energy can do for you. I know, like for me, when there's a full moon, if it's a clear night, I love to just watch it. Oh, yeah. Just to soak up the moonbeams. You know, just like people soak up sun's rays, the moonbeams <laughs> are even better for mm -hmm. me because they just feel like not only are they cleansing, but they feed my spiritual side. Yeah. And and that's what the moon does for me. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's um, I mean, you know, moonlight, just, you know, even if you can't see the moon, 
I mean, and, and think about, like, you know, we always talk about, if you look at, like, the, the Farmer's Almanac, or, or lots of other, you know, older written works. They talk about, you know, following the path of the moon with decisions that you're making, with um, uh, the, the way that your life is going, with farming, with gardening, okay? It's all part of that because the, the moon is so closely tied to the, the nature of Earth as well as our own nature, mm -hmm. you know? So it really, I mean, you know, new moon is a, is the beginning. It's the start of a new cycle. If you think of every new moon as, hey, you know what? It's all going to start again. Okay? So whatever happened before, it, you know, that's fine. It happened. It's done. I have a fresh start. And that's what's really interesting about the moon. Mm -hmm. It's every month, every 30 days or so, well, really, it's more like 28, 29, we get a fresh start. I know. And it reaches a conclusion. Which is really nice. There's a beginning, <laughs> there's middles, there's end, there's a chance for reflection, that's the last quarter, and then it all starts again. What could be more healing than that? Instead of, I mean, mm -hmm. think about what what is one of the most harmful things that, that all of us go through all the time. And this is the thing that, that causes the most stress. It's uncertainty. Right? Mm -hmm. The moon isn't uncertain. Okay, we know what's going to happen. There's going to be a new moon, there's going to be a first quarter, there's going to be a full moon, there's going to be a last quarter. If you think about things in your life like that, know that, you know, let's say you're going through something challenging. Know that it's going to come to, it's going to, it's going to reach a climax, it's going to reach an mm -hmm. ending one way or another. You're going to have a chance to reflect, then you're going to have a chance to let it go and begin again. I'm all for it. What could be more healing and cleansing? Yeah. So if you have any questions on this, please place them in the comment section. I get the feeling there's going to be a lot of moon questions. <laughs> I, I just... <laughs> if there are, I'm we'll going to do what, We'll see what happens, but... <laughs> okay, I'm going to let Tara answer that. Yeah, great. <laughs> so uh, I'll either, you know, ask her to answer it directly or... I may just point you in the direction of oh her my, YouTube channel. There you go. <laughs> yes, uh, Tara also has a YouTube channel, which I will place in the description box, mm -hmm. so that you can also check out her monthly readings, because you do monthly I readings. I do monthly readings, right. So you can check them out and see, you know, what's coming up this month. Thanks again, and I hope you like the video.